Hi, I'm Quentin Gilley, and I'm the Senior Coordinator at the Harvard Office for Sustainability. And my role here is to make our labs as energy efficient as possible. We also have a holistic plan that also focuses on our culture and learning and educating our researchers and students on how to make a safe, sustainable community. One of our main areas of focus with our Green Labs program is to look at plug load. And one of our biggest plug load users on campus is our ultra low temperature freezers or minus 80 freezers. We have several opportunities to uh, improve the efficiency of our freezers. Number one is to get more energy efficient freezers in our labs. The way we do that is to provide an incentive to purchase the most energy efficient freezers possible. We also provide uh, free uh, preventative maintenance plans for our freezers. This includes uh, filter changes and inspections that, and the information is given back to the labs so that they can make repairs if necessary. And this helps improve the longevity of the equipment, but also improves the energy efficiency. So one of the main things you can do in your lab when you're designing and planning it out is to consolidate your ultra low temperature minus 80 freezers into one single area. And by doing this, you can use a dedicated air handler to capture all the rejected heat that comes out of those freezers and exhaust it out of the building. This is a much better strategy than scattering your freezers around the lab or putting them in a hallway, because when you do that, the heat is not captured directly from a source and it causes extra uh, drain on the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. One of our most successful occupant engagement programs at Harvard University for reducing greenhouse gas emissions is our Shut the Sash competition for chemical fume hoods. We have 34 labs involved in the competition, and it's a monthly competition so that each lab has a specific goal to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. These displays indicate the amount of air in cubic feet per minute exhausted out of this lab. So each lab has this to refer to, and then they have their, their monthly results. So each lab has a specific goal based on the number of fume hoods and the type of research that they do. So for this lab, for example, they came in under their numbers over the course of the month and they achieved their goal. That means that they get invited to special parties um, and events at the expense of the Office for Sustainability to celebrate their success in the program. If you're interested in finding out more information about lab sustainability, check out mygreenlab.com, and you can also check out the Labs 21 wiki. And lastly, please check out my website, green.harvard.edu labs.